Okay, so in this video, we continue our discussion on the equivalent fractions, but then we are going to discuss about finding the simplest form of fraction. So first of all, we understand what is the what do we mean by the simplest form of a fraction, and then we find out the method to convert a given fraction into its simple form. So first of all, what do we mean by a simplest form of fraction? Now we learned that we can get a lot of fractions by either multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the same number or also by dividing them by the same number. Now let us say that I have taken a fraction 1 by 2. I can have infinite fractions, a huge number of fractions by multiplying this 1 by 2 by the same number. So for example, I can multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2. I can multiply them by 3, by 4, by 5, by 6, by 7 and so on. So in this case, the fractions, the resulting fractions that we will get will be 2 by 4. In this case, we will have 6 by, uh, sorry, it will be 3 by 6. In this case, we will have 4 by 8. In this case, we have 5 by 10. In this case, we have 6 by 12, 7 by 14 and so on. Right? And so on. Now, the thing here is, how, how do I know that I have the basic fraction from which I can get all the other fractions by multiplying them by a number. So essentially if we have a look at this 1 by 2 and the other fractions that we have formed by multiplying them. The major difference lies here is that this fraction 1 by 2 both the numerator and denominator that is 1 and 2 do not have any common factor except 1. Whereas in this case we can see that there are common factors. For example, in this case we can always like divide both of them by 2. That is what we can do. Okay, we can divide them by 2. So now we define a simplest form of a fraction which says a fraction is in simplest form when numerator and denominator do not have any common factor except 1. So now let us take an example to reduce a fraction to its simplest form. So we have a fraction 36 by 54 and we are supposed to reduce to its equivalent form, uh, to its simplest form. How would I do that? I would first start with the obvious factor. I would first check whether can I divide the numerator and denominator by a common factor and we can start with the smallest number which is 2. So if I divide both of both this numerator and denominator by 2, what is it that we get? So when I divide 36 by 2, we get 18. And when we divide 54 by 2, we will be getting 27. Now, do these does this equivalent fraction have any common factor? Yes, 18 and 27. So we can divide both of these by 3 to get another equivalent fraction. So in this, when we divide it by 2, we got this. When we divide this 18 and 27 by 3, both of them, so we get 6 here and 9 here. Now, do, do these two have another common fact? Yes, we can still divide both the numerator and denominator by 3 and get one more equivalent form, which is going to be 2 by 3. Now, is there any other factor which can divide both the numerator and denominator for this resulting fraction? No. The only factor that can divide these two is 1. Hence, this fraction 2 by 3 is the equivalent fraction or it is the simplest form of a fraction because all the other fractions can be constructed from it by multiplying this both the numerator and denominator by a number. That is about simplest form of a fraction. Now, given a fraction, how do we find out the simplest form of a fraction? Now, the key idea 
for the simplest form of a fraction is that we must reduce the fraction into such a form that there is no common factor for numerator and denominator except the number 1. That is what we want to do. Now in the last method what we did is we did an iterative method in which we first tried dividing both of them by 2 then we tried dividing by 3 and so on till we found out that the numerator and denominator cannot be divided by any number other than 1. But then there has to be a better way and the better way would be to find out the biggest factor that can divide both the numerator and denominator and if you recollect from our earlier discussion whenever we have to find out biggest factor for a pair of numbers we consider using the highest common factor so the shorter method to reduce a fraction to its simplest form is first we find out the HCF of the numerator and the denominator and then we divide both the numerator and denominator by HCF to get a reduced or the simplest form of the fraction. So let us take an example of this fraction 36 by 24. It is an improper fraction because 36 is greater than 24. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So now first we compute the HCF for 36 and 24 by computing the factors. So the factors for 36 would be 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 times 3 is 36 and the factors for 24 will be 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. Now for HCF we just find out the numbers that occur in both the factors that occur in both that are common to both of them so we have 2 times 2 times 3 which is nothing but 12 so the HCF is 12. Now our second step says that we must divide both the 36 and the, the numerator and denominator by this HCF. So what I would have is when we divide 36 is divided by 12 we get 3 and when we divide 24 by 12 we get 2. So the simplest form of fraction for 36 by 24 is 3 by 2. Now we can observe that for this 3 by 2 there is no other factor except 1. So that was our discussion about the simplest form of a fraction and using HCF to find the simplest form of a fraction.